I want you to write down truth number one. Relationship with the Holy Spirit enhances your ability. Relationship with the Holy Spirit empowers your ability to do your job. We see that in the story of Joseph. When Joseph translated the dream for Pharaoh and after he translated the dream for Pharaoh, he gave Pharaoh an advice on what he should do to avoid the famine. And Pharaoh said the following, Pharaoh said, can we find such one as this, a man in whom is the Spirit of God? It's interesting, Pharaoh who was a heathen, Pharaoh who never heard of the day of Pentecost because it didn't happen. Pharaoh who never seen a Bible because it didn't exist. Looked at Joseph in the government house after Joseph gave him an advice and Pharaoh said there's no one better for the for a position of a prime minister than Joseph. What is his qualification? Which university did he go to? What was Joseph's experience or what is his reference? Because his qualification was he ran a prison, he was a slave and he had a really terrible reputation. But you know why Joseph was hired? Because Pharaoh who wasn't a Christian, he said in him is the Holy Spirit. Why? Because the way he speaks, the kind of advice he offers, how he sees things, he can help us prevent a collapse in our economy so we will hire him. The Holy Spirit wants to empower you not just to speak in tongues but to make money to run a business for goodness sake show up to work on time do your work properly advance in your career finish your school pay off your debt be good in sales offer your life in such a way that brings the most glory to God and brings also reflects the character and the goodness of God in your life. Amen. Now some of you may say, well I am not David. I'm not running for the president. Vlad, this message is for Hillary and Donald. They are the Josephs of our generation. I am not running for the president. Well there was a man in the Bible, Moses. And when Moses was building a tabernacle, God told Moses, I want you to find this guy who in Exodus, God said, see I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur of the tribe of Judah. And I have filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom, in understanding, in knowledge and in all matter of workmanship. To design artistic works, to work in gold, in silver and bronze, in cutting jewels for setting in carving wood and to work in all matter of workmanship. God said, Moses, I want you to find this guy. He is amazing with wood, with diamonds. He is incredible with gold. And this guy has an artistic eye. Do you know why? Because I filled him with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit was not limited to people who ran countries but to people who worked with things like wood, gold, diamonds, who worked with things like art. Do not tell yourself you do not need the Holy Spirit because what you're doing is not on the CNN news. Every job we do requires the help and the power and enablement of the Holy Spirit. When you establish relationship with the Holy Spirit, He begins to enhance your ability to do your work. You begin to be like Daniel in your work. Daniel the Bible says was 10 times better, more sharper than anyone else around him. So much more he was promoted very quickly. God wants you to be in your workplace, not just be the one who carries a King James Bible but who succeeds where others fail, who has wisdom where others are confused, who picks up papers and who is an asset to the company not a liability. That you're not a person that the bosses and the managers always gather and cannot find how to get rid of you. 
but you're a person that even when a company is downsizing they said there's one person we cannot afford to lose and that is him when they work here since they came here things were changed and things are better it's not because they speak in tongues but because the Holy Spirit enhances their ability to do what they do the Holy Spirit won't help you just because you're a Christian the Holy Spirit will help you because you value the Holy Spirit